Hello everybody, welcome to another guide and tutorial for the Golden Shaw difficulty level. It's a medium. We're gonna play an old classic as per usual, the Juniper Point, which is a really good one for those of you that do want to suck up with some Kingmakers, especially good for tournaments when it comes to rookie pro and expert division, but also when it comes to tour play. For those that are grinding there you obviously can get some good cards as well unfortunately we can't go in and check the chest as the game will be down for maintenance very shortly have in mind though that you can't see me on the screen and the reason for that is that i'm at my home office and i can't get the camera and the game screen to work properly hence the no pride chest video uh, this morning either luckily i could still do uh, partially of the video that I usually do uh, when it comes to the golden shot. The kids are on break, so I do thank you for the understanding. When it comes to the Uniper point, uh, this is once again a very good part 3 for us. We're going to play the golden long iron, which has the adjustment max plus 10. You have the VPR table on the right hand side. And before we take a closer look at everything, Please hit the thumbs up button, also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. Let's take a look at the landing position. It's going to be as we have done always, I would say. And here we're going to be from top of plus one. Uh, when it and then also blue ring by the bunker. It doesn't matter if you add spin before or after because we do have two clear references already. You will obviously see this in the video. Get our guides for uh, for tournament and tour play. The tournament is the ultimate tournament text guides on patreon.com slash golf clash Tommy. Link in the description down below. You have the QR code as well on the text guide. There you can improve your tournament play. Make sure that you always make the weekend round in the division that you are playing. And therefore spend less time in practice, spend less money on balls. And that's, I mean, a win-win, a small investment to save you time and, uh, in the end, money. Tour play exclusive tour shootout guide to Tour 7 up to Tour 13, which is not talked about that much, but it's by far the best tour guide there is on the market. And if you're seeing someone that is somewhat playing according to a guide when you're playing tour play, it's mainly due to our stuff. So it doesn't matter if you play tour seven or tour 13 or somewhere in between, would you have the guide for you there? Again, patreon.com slash gold clash Tommy in the description down below. All right. Now, let's take a look at uh, the shots here and we're gonna start with shot number one. And you see here, we're doing the top of plus one blue ring to be by the sand. And we are looking now to add the spins and also some, uh, yeah, not, not also, but spins. Uh, 2.8 backspin and using in this instance, you can see I'm using 0 0.8 bars of left spin. Four miles per hour is 2.4 rings. And as always, I'm always pulling over the bullseye. This to make sure that we are consistent with the amount of rings that we're pulling. Um, so center the ball and hit perfect. And uh, we do have the ball bounce on the fairway, up onto the green, takes the turn down towards the pin and just, just burning the edge. And it rolls even too far, which is very unfortunate. But getting the red ring, it is Scarlet Chest uh, here, Skewer. Sand Lifter, Grizzly, and Cast Away, and also some Kingmakers. Let's move on to the next one. And uh, we do have the top of plus one once again. And we are having wind coming left to right, obviously. It's kind of obvious when you see that. Three um, backspin. I'm using one left spin. 4.2 miles per hour. It's 2.5 rings. And we're going to, as always, pull over the bullseye. Perfect ball it will be. So we're centering the ball to hit the ball perfect. Bounce and bounce down towards the pin. And just short this time, we're still bagging the yellow ring here. And having the fire chest is not, not bad, not what we expected, but definitely not bad. All right, extra mile, claw, Thor's armor, and some kingmakers. Let's move on 
and we do have the next shot that is a win coming left to right with some headwind top of plus one blue ring by the sun and we're gonna add some spins here as well 2.8 backspin half a bar of left spin is what we're looking for 3.4 miles per hour is two rings and we're going to start with the outside the yellow ring to pull over even if you do pull into overpower we shall not use any overpower to compensate which is an important thing to have in mind <laughs> there you can hear Matteo in the background uh, all right so there we burn the edge on the right hand side we do have a couple of chances left to drop some hole in ones which we should honestly this is a par three where uh, we should be dropping maybe a couple of more hole in one at this stage but we're always close though which is positive because we can't say that we are always going to drop every every shot when we're playing a par three but you know uh, we can at least give ourselves uh, a close one to always have a good chest in uh, good chest all right back spin left spin we do have um, 3.4 miles per hour is two rings pulling over the bullseye as per usual send to the ball and hit perfect there we go bounces on the fairway and it takes the turn can we get this one in the hole then yes we can dead nuts for the hole in one and let's see what would you get in not the hole in one chest that i've already gotten that in this account but the fire chest it is and, and we see see what we're getting at the dark thorn and we do have tsunami and some king megas in the end last but not least my friends right to left the uh, tailwind i would say this is classified as more crosswind than tailwind to be honest top of plus one is what we're looking for and then um, we do add the spins which is gonna be as you can see we're using a little bit of right spin and also some backspin, somewhat in between of what we're calling for in the guide due to it being an in-between angle as well, which are the difficult ones. 2.8 rings to pull, and you can see here now that I'm doing something that it's generally, I was almost doing something that was generally against what I'm doing, which was to not pull over the bulls. But I changed my mind, which was good, because otherwise I would most likely not drop this shot for the hole in one. So perfect ball, yet down the green, and it's dropping dead center for the hole in one here. A golden shot, medium, juniper point, and let's see what could you get in this uh, onyx chest. Let's open it up. We're gonna have the kingmakers, obviously, extra mile, the sand lizard, off roader, then the eight kingmakers in the end. Let's take a look at the text guide here. We do have uh, this one was for hard, so we're just gonna change this a little screen here for us all before we start talking about that so when it comes to the golden shot we do have this one there we go all right so landing position blue ring by bunker to the left from the top of plus one yard mark looking to improve your game scan the code for the best tournament and tour play guide and tour play guides on the market there is a reason why we have kept ourselves over 2,000 people subscribed for so long that's because I do think we do something right. All right, when it comes to the spins, we do have straight tailwind, uh, four backspin, all side spin, wind coming left to right, 3.8 backspin, 0 0.5 left spin, wind coming right to left with tailwind, 3.8 backspin, 0 0.3 right spin, wind coming left to right with tailwind, um, three backspin, no, not left right with tailwind sorry left to right direct crosswind three backspin 0 0.8 left spin wind coming right left with direct crosswind three backspin 0 0.8 right spin wind coming left to right with headwind 2.8 backspin half a bar left spin wind coming right to left with headwind 2.8 backspin 0 0.3 right spin and direct headwind is 2.6 backspin yet the text guide on goldclashnome.com slash gold golden shot goldclashhome.com is your home for free content when it comes to information and also when it comes to video guides text guides and everything and everything goldclashhome.com is for free you can access behind the scenes content in our package already at one dollar and fifty cents by subscribing at patreon.com slash goldclash tommy 
All right, then, my friends, thank you so much for watching this um, golden shot guide for medium. And I do apologize once again for my technical issues here. Hopefully, you still got some value out of this video. Hit the thumbs up before you go, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on the notifications. I will see you the next time, and I wish you the best of luck in the golden shot.